What's up, everyone? Today we're making chicken pot stickers, a dish my dad's made thousands of times. Hello, everyone. 大家好，今日啊，同大家做呢个锅贴。今日我用鸡肉做，用啲菜，用啲西芹、椰菜、姜。材料就好简单嘅啫。我先切咗粒鸡鸡肉先嗬。My dad is using half chicken thigh and half chicken breast for a total of about one pound. It's partially frozen here to help with easier cutting. First, we're going to cut it into very thin slices. Then, we're going to lay them down and cut the slices into thin strips. Lastly, we'll rotate the strips 90 degrees and mince the chicken into very small pieces. If we use beef. 康乐系咪一样啊？一样啫嘛，你可以去买嗰啲搞好晒啲猪肉翻嚟做，又可以好似我咁切鸡肉、猪肉都系一样系咁切碎做。自己切系好啲。我又我就系中意自己切啦，买嗰啲搞嗰啲肉翻嚟咪好似酱咁咯。但系我啲肉唔系好似酱噶嘛。主要就系你出去买嗰啲咧，因为佢搞到好烂好烂，好湿啊！雞肉切好之後咧，開啲葉嚟味料嚟醃一醃佢咯喎。For the marinade, we'll be mixing one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of fish sauce, one teaspoon of white pepper, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and two tablespoons of water. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. 將呢啲汁攪勻佢。咁攪勻佢之後咧，咁撈開啲肉咧，佢就容易撈好多啦。菠蘿嘅嘢倒曬落嚟，再撈開啲肉佢嚇。我攣咗，攣到呢啲肉咧起膠嚇。好啦，擺喺度先，喺度切埋啲菜，撈埋佢一間。嗱，我俾個西芹最好嘅辦法俾大家聽下啦，乾淨嘅膠袋入住佢，用刀又得，咁樣又得，最好就咁啦。嗱，睇住啦，係嘛？係咪好容易啊？再切佢，嚇，切碎佢啦。Mr. Martini from Patreon asks, What is your favorite vegetarian filling？ 韭菜、椰菜啊，咁總之都係最中意咩菜就俾咩菜啦。少水嘅 ，like a mushroom and corn. You can pick something you like, like a your favorite. 即係啲野菜啊，嗱，啲硬嘅咧就食咗佢啦。我今日嘅飯量咧就一磅肉配一磅菜，你可以全全俾曬肉，又 OK。Belinda from Patreon asks, "How do you keep the filling juicy?" You 要醃嗰啲肉嗰時候要落啲水落去，同埋我嘅做做法咧，我就菜同肉一人一半。菜有水分啊嘛，佢啲肉佢就唔會咁一實拉埋啊嘛，亦都唔好俾太多粉落去，佢啲粉落去實。After we cut the cabbage, we're going to combine it with the cut celery and blanch it with hot water to get rid of the grassy flavor. We'll stir the vegetables just a bit, and after about a minute, we'll drain the water. 咁啊，瓊瓊水，而家咧就切埋啲姜，係一個安閃上下嘅姜咧。Just like the chicken, we'll cut the ginger into slices, then strips, then rotate to mince. After the ginger is minced, we'll squeeze any extra water from the drained vegetables. Doing this ensures the filling won't be too wet, which will make wrapping the dumplings easier. After mixing the ginger in, we'll also add one tablespoon of sesame oil and mix before adding in the chicken. The word pot sticker comes from the Chinese word wo ti, which literally means pot stick. Generally, wo ti refers to pan-fried dumplings, and this is just one of thousands of varieties of dumplings found in cuisines all across the world. Even just in Chinese cuisine, you'll find dumplings with savory or sweet fillings prepared in all sorts of methods, like baking, frying, or steaming. 
No one agrees on the exact origin of Chinese pot stickers, but by one account, these came about when a chef of the imperial court accidentally left dumplings cooking in a wok, burning the bottom and claiming them as his own special creation. Nowadays, pot stickers are enjoyed everywhere, on purpose, for their crispy skin and scrumptious fillings served with a perfectly paired dipping sauce. Linda from Patreon asks, What brand of store bought rappers do you recommend? The material and the skin is the same, but just wall tip mean the gao ji is thicker than sui gao, a little thicker. So if you like the boil, you buy the sui gao skin, but if you like the thicker one, you buy wall tip skin. If you make half thicker and like a pan fry, choose a little thicker skin. Like my dad mentioned, there are lots of different ways to wrap pot stickers, and he actually thinks my mom is better than him at it, so she'll be showing us three different ways to wrap them. Welcome, mommy, wow. <laughs> let me try. I, I'm not expert for this. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really pretty. Yeah, mommy, wow. 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 <laughs> How's that? <laughs> That's really pretty. In pasta, there's so many ways to wrap. You can see two sides. This side have a flower. So that means this side it is outside. So the side without the flower is inside. Put some water around the side. Maybe I put two teaspoons filling. I think this is very good filling. What I'm doing it is like a halfway started. Use this finger, push, and then push down. Push and push down, push forward and down, push forward and down, push forward and down. About one, two, three, four, five. And then I can close in this moment here like that. Close. You're just pinching it closed? Just pinch. Mm -hmm. you, you can do it in the middle first. Wow. Is that good? Yeah. Huh? I'm better than daddy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! yeah! Mommy, oh yeah! I think one way I can fold it like, um, like this and like this. I've and, seen that before. And like this too. Yeah. But I feel like that's easier. It's easier but doesn't look like a traditional pasta. Yeah, this is easier. And then the other one, water and then put two in. So two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. Do one way. I like more feeling inside. Then when you eat, you can feel the really, very really chewy, the good taste, meat and the, the skin. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Is that good? Huh. Okay, so people ask about like freezing them and thawing them, because you're probably not going to eat all the ones you make at once, right? After we wrap the tumbling, right? So we do one by one, put it in a tray, mm. put pasta separate with the tray. Then you can do one by one and put in the pizza. You can't just throw it all in a bag? No, no, no. We are not expert for wrapping the pasta, but we have a one shade, daddy shade, mummy lao, and mummy lao. Besides these four examples, there are probably dozens of other ways to wrap a dumpling. But as long as it stays together, there really is no right or wrong way. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, 
head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. For the outcome, there is a way it tastes better. Because when you boil, your skin becomes really soft. You lose the chewy texture. That's true. Okay, let's start. After the pot stickers are in the pan, we'll turn the heat to medium high and pour in a half cup of water. We'll cover the pan and let it cook for about three to four minutes, turning the heat to low once we see the water boiling. Cooking with the lid off for a minute and a half to two minutes will add one tablespoon of oil to make the pot stickers extra crispy, making sure to move the pot stickers around just a bit to make sure they're not sticking to the pan. We'll put the lid back on to cook for another 30 seconds or so until the oil is absorbed and the pot stickers get crispy. How do you know when they're done? You just put it on and see it. With the lid off, we'll flip all of the pot stickers over and cook them for one more minute. Yeah. Oh my god, Okay. Cheers! Say Did you guys have this in China? No! But in China, for me, I don't have that much chance to eat this. But I see my classmate, my neighbor, they they do the skin by their own. I saw them do it, but I never have a chance to... They, they asked me to share with them. Oh, they didn't share? No. They kept the shit themselves. <laughs> they eat it by themselves. Rude. Like, mm, mama, mama, mama. <laughs> it's you. Who's it's you. Ah, okay. okay. Mm, good. Okay, good. Mm. Oh, we're done. Hey. <laughs>